So we've, we've made it all the way to our finishing hole at Morningstar of testing uh, finishing hole. The blue tees we're standing on right now plays about 445. And back there, we've got the golds waiting for you if you really want to challenge in the 475, 480 range. So um, we're going to play it from the 450. My contract says uh, I don't play par fours longer than that. So here we are. Pretty straightaway hole. The only sort of nuance to this hole is as you go down the right hand side, there's some long grass, marshy area that the further right you go, the longer your carry has to become. So I generally favor the left side. In the distance, you might see a willow tree there. I'm going to try to hit it sort of at the, at the edge of the willow tree. If it cuts a little bit into the fairway, great. If not, I'm happy to hit it down the left side of the fairway. 260, 270 off the tee in pretty damp conditions first thing in the morning here. Okay, so here we are in the fairway, 18 at Morningstar. Clearly Brendan's ball hit a soft spot and I think mine hit two sprinkler heads in a row. So I got, I got him by a couple feet here. What I want to tell you about is the green here. It's pretty wide right to left, but it definitely slopes away from us as we go towards the back left corner. So the further left the pin is, the, the more you got to carry the ball to get up on the green. Let's see how we do here. All right. Yeah, I didn't quite carry it far enough, but okay. Nice shot. Nice par. The 18th, you got to hit a good tee shot, hit it solid, and then a good challenging approach shot with a slightly elevated green there. So a really stout finishing hole for, for everybody.